far as bone marrow chain protein, it's uh, specifically approved for three indications. It's approved for anterior fusions where you go through the abdomen and put cages in. That's actually the only uh, spine uh, approval at this point uh, after almost uh, 18, 19 years of commercial use. Um, and it's approved for various cages now. It's also approved to fill in large defects in your mandible uh, from sinusitis or infections. And it's also approved for your tibia fracture. Uh, if you have a high-grade tibia fracture, it's approved for use in those instances. Bone morphogenic protein, there's like 13 or 14 of them in your bone, and they work as a cascade to heal the bone together and produce bone. And ultimately what it does is it stimulates the cells within the bone to produce bone cells or other cells in the area that will go in and actually form bone and, and create healing. And it works very closely with the teroparatides that we talk about for the treatment of osteoporosis because it in fact is basically on each one of those cells, it attaches to it and stimulates those cells, both the teroparatides and BMP, to produce bone cells that will form bone and lead to healing, either in a fracture, which, we, which it's used in, or in your fusion. And so you have to discuss the usage of this if you like it, um, because it is costly as all products are, but the, the nice thing about it is you only have to use it once. It's not like taking a drug for the rest of your life. And it has been shown uh, to uh, improve fusion rates rather significantly in certain instances, particularly anteriorly, which it is approved for.